Hi, it's Dr. Jennifer Taylor, and I want to invite you again to another installment of Lemonade Out of Lemons. So approximately, oh, two weeks ago, I came back from my last class, and although half my class was snowed in, even my instructor couldn't make it to the class, we had a phenomenal tidbit that I got out of this particular class. So there's a whole study right now that is centered around cerebral spinal fluid flow. Now what CSF is, is it's the fluid that surrounds and bathes the nervous system, the brain, the spinal cord. It sends nutrients to it and it's essential for overall nervous system health. And there is actually now a study that we, they were just able to make public that shows the difference before and after an upper cervical, the atlas-specific adjustment of cere a cerebral spinal fluid flow. This is absolutely incredible. This could actually pave the way for all sorts of different things like um, Alzheimer's, um, uh, autism has been shown actually to have all this pressure in the brain. Um, it also shows promise for Parkinson's disease as well. So, or and MS too. So I want to make sure we put multiple sclerosis in there too, that other nervous system degenerative uh, disease. This is so amazing. And actually today, what is so incredible is bringing this all together is there was an adjustment that a uh, person that came in today and we did an adjustment on her and we she has tremors or intention tremors however there's no signs of parkinson's or ms or anything she's been upwards and forwards everywhere we don't know where these intention tremors are coming from so what i did was i did a video of her intention tremors in her hands so it's when she does a movement is when the tremors actually become really noticeable, um, writing, things like that. So we took the video before the adjustment and right after the adjustment, we're talking like 30 seconds to a minute after the adjustment, and you will see a noticeable difference in, in her tremors. They're very slightly there, but they are definitely not as pronounced. And it was so exciting. I wanted to share it with you and bring all this information to you because I really, really think this is the forefront of really where healthcare and neurological health is going. And I'm excited to be part of it and learning so much about it. I still have, you know, really, mainly three years to go um, in my studies, but I am so excited because seeing in my office now, seeing the changes, and I just learned about this two weeks ago, it's really incredible. So I want to share it with you immediately. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the office and good health. Well, then is there engaged there? Okay. Put your hands together. Together? Yeah. Okay. And go ahead and put your fingers together like this. There we go. Now, right now, do all your fingers that way. So you can really see the tremor now. Okay, and this is before the adjustment. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. or we want to wait a while like last time. Just wait just a couple minutes. Okay, now, now do the finger touch. looks better to me, but tell me how it feels to you. Yeah, it's better. It's a little better. Okay, we'll see after your rest period. 